Jail was a place in which you had to think, you had to pre-plan, and you had to consider all of the possible permutations of anything you do or anything you say. It was a, it was a system that was controlled by the jailer. The person next to you may have been paid to kill you or may have been paid to give you disinformation. When Moses and I were arrested in Hattiesburg, coincidentally, an, uh, a soldier was brought in who just happened to have been arrested for drinking, and it, wasn't, it took us about 10 minutes to understand what his real role was. So we dealt with him like he was an informer, and he was, of course, an informer. In Parchman, we were all naked, 63 of us. We knew that the, that the room that we were all put in sometime was taped, so our conversation was geared to the jailer. What did we want the jailer to know and not know? Uh, it's it's, a, it's a, a system unlike any other. I was in Winona Jail. I had been beaten by 10 people, and I later found out one of them was a prize fighter. And I'm naked, and they're threatening to burn my genitals, and they have guns. And I, I, my, my role then was simply to stay conscious, because if I don't, and then people, Roberta Gala and others been, began calling across the country and asking to speak to me. That's the only thing that kept me alive. And after about four days of that, they left uh, my cell door open with a knife right out conveniently two or three steps from the door. And I called them and told them that uh, there was a knife out there and my cell needed to be locked so that all the other prisoners could hear that. Some guy came to me with the pros in as an FBI agent. I'd worked with, seen so many FBI agents that I knew that they didn't have the kind of little badge he was showing me. So we're talking about a situation where if you stop thinking for a second, you won't last very long. Uh, and the National Council of Churches provided the money for us to get out of jail. I spent two months in Parchment Prison, absolutely naked, with nothing in my cell but a steel bunk and a commode. And my, it was my responsibility, doing what I was doing, to stay alive, to plot, and to plan, and when released, to implement.